Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. I'm here with you today to do the daily tarot reading. Um, today is Wednesday, January 17th and we are moving right along. It's a super cold, um, breezy, sunny, beautiful blue sky day here but really freezing. I hope you all are, are warmer where you're at. Um, we are getting closer to, ah, let's switch over to Aquarius by Pluto and the Sun next weekend and the full moon. So I'm going to start pulling on those energies tomorrow and see what we can get. I'm sure some of it's showing up in these readings today. I've already said my prayer and called in my spirit guides. Ah. Spirit, can you show us what energies are out there right now for the collective? What do we need to be aware of? What are the energies coming towards us? What do we need to know? I did put a... Uh, cloth down on my wooden desk here, my aunt, little antique desk, because um, I imagine the sound of the, when I do the deck, it's probably been bothering some of you, so I hope you find this a little quieter and not to disturb your ears. So the first card we had come flying out was um, Plants with Growth. And this is our little elk with um, a bunch of plants growing out of his antlers. So you may be going into a period of real growth in your life, whether this is um, relationship growth, um, your personal energy growth, whether this is um, something you're trying to grow, such as a business or a relationship, you might start seeing some growth in it, okay? Then we have rock with endurance. And this card has come out every day for the last few days. Um, so someone is being really strong right now. They're hanging in there. They're going through it, having a lot of endurance. And it's growing. You can see the growth here happening. So we have two cards around growth. Then we have the equator and woo, to make equal. Okay. Um, and this is about making our light and dark energies equal, our masculine, our feminine energies, right? And we can't have one without the other, right? And it's okay to have up days and down days, right? As long as we're staying equal, we don't dip too far in one direction or the other, right? We stay balanced, that equilibrium. And for some of you, you may be coming into a better um, balance of your light and dark energies. Or this is saying, let's get in balance here with our light and dark energies. Ooh. And then we have speed with movement. Um, life is quicking, uh, speeding up, right? Um, when we get into Aquarius season, it might go much fast, faster where uh, Capricorn energy is very grounded, right? Um, Aquarius is a freer moving energy, a faster moving energy. So life is going to be speeding up. If you're going to have more growth coming in in some situation, that is going to create more um, movement and stuff like that. And this could also be a, a message to someone to move a little more. Maybe you're too sedentary and um, this is a message to just move, change your energy up a little. Then we have mountains Ooh, and clarity. So you may be getting clearer about a difficult situation in your life um, that has left you feel out in the cold. You may be getting some clarity around that and how to handle it, how to work through these feelings that you might be having. And then last we have passion with the soul and this is one of my favorite cards in all the decks I use. It just blows me away how much I see and feel in this, right? You can see the passion of a well-lived lived life with 
all this color up here, all this imagination and creativity that comes out of the soul. Um, all the loss and sadness that someone's been through that's washed away the color in their lives, right? And then there's this whole world inside of somebody's soul. And that must be this endurance, right, energy that someone is just going through it. And they're going to get this all back again. And that tear spot is going to fade, okay? All right, so that's what we have going on. Hmm. All right. Oh, where do I want to go next? What am I being called to? Let's do Wisdom of the Oracle this morning. Spirit guides, what do we need to know today? What is going on for this collective? What do they need to know? What is happening? What's coming towards them? All that stuff. bottom of the deck is the observer and this is an energy of someone that's seeking information right um, they're watching they could be looking at you on social media they could be checking you out in some day or this could just be somebody trying to seek information to try and figure out what they're going to do about a particular situation in their life okay We have by the book energy, and this is an energy of somebody that is following universal law, right? The law of attraction, um, doing things above board in the right way, um, spiritually, physically. They're just in line with the flow, doing things in the right way, and they're moving forward on a path. Then we have the energy of why. Ask yourself the why questions in your life. Um, you know, why do you want this relationship? Why do you want this job? Why do you want to live where you want to live? Why do you want this car, this house, this neighborhood, this friend? Whatever it could be, right? It could be a million different whys. Why are things not working out for me? Why am I in this situation? So ask yourself all those whys. Message in a bottle. So you could have some information coming into you. It could be like a surprise, something you're not expecting. This could be a message from spirit, text message, call, letter, opportunity of some kind could be coming in here. Time for a nap. And this is spirit saying, take a break. You don't have to work yourself to the bone. You know, let your mind rest, let your body rest, recoup. We're in winter. It's about retreating and refreshing, healing, whatever we need to heal. This is what happens in the winter. We take stock, we go in, and we come out fresh in the spring. So take some time to rest. Treasure Island. This is another one of my favorite cards. This beautiful sea turtle and this blue Caribbean water, right? And he has a treasure chest on his back that is floating through the water like he's going to make a delivery somewhere. And that chest is just full of love and abundance. So this may be coming into you, okay? And then we have the deep knowing card. And this is, you may be a very intuitive person. You may have a deep knowing about a situation in your life. Um, and trust that deep knowing you have, okay? Don't doubt it. Okay. I 
we're getting an idea of how this energy is going to go today. I'll take the good tarot here. Give it a shuffle and see what's going to come out, right? So it looks like we could have some communication or some kind of surprise coming in for someone that's been strong and passionate. Okay, Spirit Guides, what do we have for today? What does the collective need to know? What's going on? bottom of the deck when I uh, stop shuffling is the star right and there is Aquarius the star okay so that could be a message that when we get in Aquarius season something different could be happening in whatever situation we're going to have going on here I'm going to throw on the glasses the sun is so bright off that fence it's blinding so let's see what we have here We've got some big energies. We have one, two, three major arcana cards. So let's get started. In the middle of our deck, we have the Knight of Air, Knight of Swords here, right? And this is the night about truth and honesty. So that could be coming into you, some truth and honesty on its way to you. Or this could be your energy, right? Maybe you're going to be bringing some truth and honesty to someone. So to open up, we have the Hanged Man. So somebody is in a state of real contemplation. They're trying to figure out what to do in life, um, what decision to make, how to proceed forward. Um, they may be figuring out what's going on in their life, you know, where do they want to head. Or this could be somebody just waiting for clarity to come in and before they take a move on something. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So this person is waiting for the Ten of Cups energy to come in for them. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So he may be um, waiting to make a move towards someone and offer some happiness or waiting for this happiness to come into himself, okay? Because we can't... Um, You know, he may see happiness with someone. <laughs> then in the middle row, we have the Ten of Wands. So you can see someone twirling uh, fire there, right? So this is a heavy energy that someone's been carrying around for a while, a burden that they need to put down. 
And maybe this Queen of Swords is going to come in with the truth about that burden. Or learn the truth about it, right? And Six of Swords, move away. You know, moving away from this heavy burden in their life. And they're with a, in this night energy that's moving pretty quickly. In the bottom row, we have the energy of the Fool. And this is about that somebody that's in a new path, right? They've entered a cycle. They're going forward into the new. Um, maybe, maybe getting ready to take a big leap of faith towards something in their life and a new direction, a new opportunity. Seven of Wands. Um, this is a spiritually kind of protected energy for somebody. They're going about their life, but they have a good deal of spiritual protection. Um, they use their wands, and they're all kind of magical, like, in this energy. And then we have the Six of Cups, this energy of um, the past. Like, it could be a soulmate energy. It could be, um, you know, our childhood looking back on it. Um, maybe you have fond memories of something in the past, and you're hoping it will return. Maybe you're letting go of this past that has troubled you. And then we have the two extra cards that came out, the Queen of Pentacles. So now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so something's changing. That information, that message might be coming in, right? Excuse me, <laughs> the runny nose. It's so cold. Oh. So, spirit guides, can you tell me about this hanged man, please? What's going on here? The hanged man energy. Okay, the hanged man energy is somebody that is in the five of pentacles, feeling left out, feeling forgot, uh, abandoned, um, sad, um, marginalized in some way, maybe a money problem. And it may be around this um, queen of wands energy here. Maybe but somebody feels left behind by this queen of wands or this queen of wands is feeling left behind. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What is this Ten of Cups energy here? That is the Knight of Swords. He's feeling happy about something and moving forward in a truthful way. And we also have Three of Swords there. Maybe they're going to deliver the truth about their broken heart and why they've been so guarded and protected. And then we have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles come out. And that's about reciprocal energies, right? Get equal reciprocal energies around abundance of any kind. Love, money patience, care, time. And we have a tower there for the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is the Five of Wands, and this is somebody that is really in a conflictive state, a conflicted state. Um, their energy is they are, their situation is conflict. This could be somebody in a competitive situation, somebody trying to make a good move in, in career, get ahead in some way, spark some kind of something in their life, or this is just inner conflict over a new decision or direction, maybe what the hangman is feeling. And then we have this 5-5 five, five energy about change. 
What else about the Ten of Wands, Spirit? We're at the end, folks. You're at the end of that cycle. If this is you and we're reading for you, you are at the end of this cycle. It's done. It's completed. There's nothing left. So release this energy from yourself. And we have the magician there doing that, transmuting all that energy. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. The Knight of Swords has an Ace of Pentacles, um, an opportunity. Either they're going to be giving an opportunity to somebody or an opportunity is coming into them. And they're feeling like it's going to be a victory whatever way it goes here. And happiness, abundance. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What are we moving away from here? Okay, we're moving towards the Four of Wands. We're moving towards um, happiness, um, foundation. That could even indicate somebody moving to a new location where they'll be happy. Especially the four wands on top of a six of uh, swords and that is the 1111 card too what else about the six of swords hmm two of cups so this could be somebody's balanced energy and we do have the king and queen of pentacles here and we had that um, balance your light and dark energies, right? So this could be somebody's balanced energy here, or this is soulmates coming together. And it actually could be both, okay? What else about the Six of Swords? The Lovers. So there we have it, soulmates. <laughs> okay, tell me about the fool, please, spirit. This sweet little fool card, this little angel on a trumpet. <laughs> what is this fool up to? What is going on? Oh, no. Oh no, we were just having this nice reading. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, Ten of Pentacles. So now we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, right? Ten, Ten. The ten of Wands, we got Ten, Ten, Ten here. Um, six of Swords. And the fool, uh, the devil. <laughs> so the fool is the devil. And this might be about somebody moving away from some stability that they have now in their life. Okay, they might, maybe they're leaving a job behind where they felt maybe financially stable, but nothing else in their life was a ton of cups. So they're leaving that, and there could be some fear around that. Like, I think it would be reasonable for anybody to be in a little bit of fear, leaving um, some kind of stability that they've felt in their life behind. Even if it's been toxic stability. So this fool is kind of taking that action, leaving something behind, some kind of fear or worry or situation or conflict or something behind 
Tell me about the Seven of Wands, please, Spirit. The Seven of Wands is the Seven of Swords. So now we have 777 down here, too. Um, and this is an energy of someone that may have left a situation. They may be thinking about returning to you. They may be leaving something else and coming back to you. Or maybe this is just how much they're leaving. Like they want to get out of there and they're, you know, they just got their backpack of stuff and they're on their way and they have their knife out to protect themselves on the way out. So um, somebody could just be leaving with their clothes maybe. Maybe they have nothing left else to take there. And right now they're in this Four of Cups energy, sadness, looking at so many things that they loved and hoped for go down the drain. And this little person here, right, she's thinking and imagining what life would be like, how it could be, what could happen, and she's manifesting, or he is. And then we have our Six of Cups energy again, which is the next card out, right? Somebody wanting to return to the past where they felt happier. And what do we know? We can't go back, right? We can only go forward in life. And tell me about the Six of Cups. Somebody is in the Two of Pentacles. Do I do this? Do I go back to something? Do I leave this and go forward in my life? You know, even looking back on a, you know, like a past, if this Ten of Pentacles here is around work, right? Maybe at one point, that job was everything you wanted, right? And I can relate to this so well. You thought it was for you. You thought it was what you were meant to do. You thought that's why you were put where you were put, right? Like, this is supposed to happen for me, only to realize it's not. And maybe at one time it was who I was and what I needed in my life. And it's just not anymore because that situation grew me, taught me something different. And it still can be hard, right? Um, you know, I've talked about how me, and even if that was a relationship, right? Um, remembering all the good things, but maybe not the reality of a situation. So we have to be careful of that. So this person is, is struggling with this. And then we have the King of Wands. So he's the one that's juggling this energy. He's in the Seven of Cups. You know, 777 seven, seven here. And um, he's trying to make a better decision in his life. He um, has maybe had lots of different opportunities and he's choosed, his choices haven't been the best for him. And this time he wants to make a good choice. And you can see here, right, the, the red cup is the clear choice. And for whatever reason, he doesn't have the clarity. He has this knight of wands, this you know, is ready to take action on something. He's going to make a decision and move some way. And then the sun's coming in, the illumination, the happiness, and the joy. This energy is coming into this person, and maybe it's going to come. The sun is um, like Leo energy, right? So maybe with this Leo full moon, um, I think it's a week away now, maybe this will... Um, give this person the epiphany or something like that that they need to um, move away from something. Okay, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is in the Seven of Pentacles. She's uh, working hard and manifesting what she wants in life. She's growing something, and we have a lot of growing energy there. And she has the Ace of Cups. She has a big cup of love to give to someone. She has self-love, too. 
she has an ace of wands it's a cup of love a cup of passion and um, this eight of pentacles she's passionately working on something and growing something tell me about the wheel of fortune Wheel of Fortune is the Chariot. This is Cancerian energy, balanced forward movement. This person is being strong and courageous. Hmm. And they are up in their head. So we have 555 five, five now. And you can see how confused and overwhelmed they are. All the information they have come filtering into them. The spiritual downloads, right? Maybe people gossiping to them, giving them advice. It's just overwhelming. And they're getting really annoyed. What else there? And it's going to get so much, so bad, they're going to take a leap of faith because they can't take it anymore. King of Swords. So he's in that devil energy. All right, Spirit, can you tell me about the tower energy? King of Swords is in the Three of Wands. Tell me about the tower, please. Somebody in the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords energy, just overwhelmed, right? Overthinking, over worried, confused. And the, the Tower is that justice is coming in, that reciprocal energy is going to be coming in. And we have a Page of Pentacles here. And that's a beginning energy, a beginning offer of something. I feel like a lot of information wants to become flying out of here today. Like big hunks of check of, of cards are just falling out on the table. Like we can't get that the information out fast enough right now. And then uh, uh, Archangel Michael here with patience and healing going over there in that tower for somebody. Oh, Spirit, tell me what the sun energy is. Someone in the hanged man getting illumination. In the hermit energy. Hermit and a hangman, that's some deep spiritual energy there. And Eight of Wands, communication coming in. Now we have the Hermit and the High Priestess. That is a spiritual connection here. And they're next to each other on the table. And right now, somebody's in Four of Pentacles energy. They're not giving to this situation. And maybe that communication is coming in. Maybe they're going to explain why they haven't been giving. Yep there's the three of pentacles they're going to communicate that they want to work on something and heal it and grow something together so that's what we have going on here um, somebody's in a tower 
and it's going to bring in balance. This person is still working through some issues. Um, they have an Ace of Pentacles. They're going to have a victory. They're leaving something behind that was devil energy for them. They're moving away from this devil energy. And that's connected to a Ten of Pentacles situation in their past. They're leaving it behind. And they're moving forward in life. They're taking a leap of faith and they're going in a new direction. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. All right, let's get an outcome for you. Spirit guides, what is the outcome for this reading today? What is the takeaway? What does the collective need to know? Pentacles is the slowest energy, right? Okay, so <laughs> bottom of the deck when I finish the outcome, right, is the Emperor. Look at that Emperor. And remember, I said Leo with the sun, and then there's the lion here. Okay, so. I think we have a fire sign energy here. Um, so this is the outcome. So we're not to the offer yet, but we are certainly closer. We have um, something is going to be happening for somebody here that I think is separate from the relationship that's here. I think um, what this Queen of Pentacles is working on over here is going to bring some opportunities into her that's going to make her feel happy okay and then i think this other energy is is playing out um so we have the page of wands right and this is somebody who's on a path to uh passion and creativity to kind of deliver that message um, the five of swords and that's that up in the the head energy just so completely and utterly overwhelmed and even feeling angry about it right now the hierophant and this is a spiritual energy it's our oh it's our values our conduct um it's the hierarchies in our life it's the rules the regs um it's agreements and commitments a commitment could be coming in here or developing right um it's somebody really committed this is a spiritual energy too and this could be an energy maybe that this emperor is in or that this emperor has to go up against and that can be an intimidating energy and that might be why they're in this five of swords energy because of this person with integrity and principles and values right and then we have the eight of wands energy here
Ten of Swords, right? So we're letting it go. We're walking away from it, what has been making us so um, crazy. We're, we're leaving it behind. We're going on to a better place. And then we have our Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving energy, but the most likely to cross the finish line and come to a victory, okay? So this person is going through it, and we've, We've known this, right? We've known that this person has been having a heck of a time of things that they've been healing and growing and um, they've been strong and courageous and they're trying to do the right things in their life and make the right choices and all of that. And um, each day, this is getting closer and closer and closer and we know he's made the decision to leave and now I think the struggle is, how am I going to communicate this? How do I make this desire known? Um, and there's somebody with deep knowing energy. Um, like, I know you're coming. <laughs> I, I know. Somebody here, and it's probably um, like this high priestess energy, right? They just know. They know. They know what's, what's going on. So... It's getting through the, the fear and shame and blame and all those kinds of energies that need to be worked out. And with the magician working on that, right, we're transmuting energies. And we're going to be moving forward here. I'm going to pull, uh, I have the hidden realm energy here, the oracle. The hidden truth. And let's see what comes out here, right? Why not? Let's do something different. Let's shuffle for a minute. Okay, spirit. What messages can you give us? <laughs> We need to let each other go. We both know I am not the one for you. Oh my goodness. You claim closer than anyone else. My life is not together as it seems. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Well, I am not available. Wow, way, huh? You were the best thing in my life. becoming a better person. I wish I could share my good news with you.
we will be together again. Okay, so um, bottom of the deck, I wonder if you are happier without me. So I think the message here is Spirit is trying to get you to understand how, where this person's head is right now. And, you know, he's in the Knight of Pentacles energies. He's in the Hangman, this Two of Pentacles energy for a long time here. Whether this is masculine or feminine energy, this has been going on for a long time. And we have the Fool energy here, but you're really going to have to be patient, whoever, you know, if you're the chaser right in this situation, you're going to have to be patient. Right? This situation is going to have to take a lot more time to, to come together. And then we have this other energy. Like this person is not available right now because they're healing. And that was the, right, the star energy. On the bottom of the deck, it's that healing energy with Archangel Michael here. And then you were the best thing in my life. I'm becoming a better person. I wish I could share my good news with you. And we will be together again. So, you know, you have to decide. We had the why question come out, like why, right? Did we hear? No. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. So why? Why um, Why do you want to be with this person? Why does it have to be this person? You have this deep knowing that this is what's going on, that this person is really troubled. He's in this devil energy. He's not available because of some kind of commitment he has in his life, some kind of long-term commitment. He is not available. And you whether it's the divine feminine or um, I'm just going to say the, the chaser energy, right? Um, you've got something wonderful coming in here. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, you're having great go growth. And I think you just need to walk away. You need to walk away from this. Leave this behind. And if it's meant to be, it'll, it'll come in right and maybe he'll get this illumination here but on the meantime just focus on yourself keep going in your direct and keep taking the growth um, the passion you have for what you're doing keep focusing on that and um, cut this out you just you have no idea right like how much um, time have you maybe have you wasted on waiting for this person to come in that is giving you this like we will be together again you know and this feels twin flamish right we have the Queen of Pentacles in the Ten of Cups here and that's like um, twin flame energy and the reality is that not every twin flame comes together some of them just can't come into union for whatever reason they can't they can't get the healing done they don't want to be part of a joint mission whether you call this twin flames or deep soul connections or whatever you know you call them um divine couples whatever <laughs> they're couples that come together and have real missions in life to spread the mission of love and light in the world and um, this person may not want to be on that path some some decide that they can't do it even though they know they have this strong spiritual connection to you so you need to be prepared for that um, and for the um, the chaser you just have to worry about you 
Just because this person doesn't want to be on the path with you doesn't mean that you can't be on that path, right? And spreading that energy, okay? Just keep going. And we still have somebody in a tower that's healing, that's working through these devil energies, fear or whatever it is. You've got a couple of aces here for yourself. Something is coming in for you. I think around this happiness and this Eight of Pentacles energy you have going, okay? Um, who's ever in the Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? So that's what we have, okay? Let's... Uh, get a little inspiration I feel like we need it right now Ooh. spirit guides what can you bring in for some higher level energies here what does the collective need to know about this situation here what action should they take what higher energies can come in here? Bottom of the deck is solitude. <laughs> you know, this is like in peace, in silence, peace prevails, right? That um, you may need some time alone to work through this energy you're working through. Um, okay, you may need to, to spend some time alone. And let me get my glasses on and we can see what we got here. Okay, we have the energy of illumination. So maybe we just got some illumination here, right? Learning the truth that this person is just not in a place to move forward with you right now, okay? And then that's in the near future. That's today, that's today's energy, okay? With the, um, I hope it gives you some inner peace to know that this person loves you they just can't be with you right now and sometimes that's really hard to hear right they love you but they can't be with you and that's the reality of the situation and that's where um but knowing that they they will you will be together again but right now you need to let each other go and you need to explore what's coming to you in your life and they need to finish up their healing journey okay and then we have purification and i hope that brings you inner peace right like maybe maybe you've doubted that there's love here there's love here right there's love here there's no doubt about it there's love here And it was probably very, very passionate at once, okay? Very fiery. So you need purification is coming in, cleansing your energies, letting really letting go of each other, getting out of each other's space so that this growth can happen. Success is coming in here. Okay, you're going to be successful. Maybe this relationship is going to be successful. It's just not, it's not the right timing. Relax a little. 
right? Take, take some time out, relax. Enlightenment. Okay, someone's maybe going through enlightenment. You know, maybe they're gonna do this mending they need to do. And have focus, focus on your spiritual connection, whoever you are. Um, focus on yourself and what you can create in your own world, okay? And let this person do their thing. And um, you have to be patient. Archangel Michael is here. Oh, I have a beautiful birds just flying right into the window. That's the spirit guides saying, yeah, you're, you're on the right track here, right? So as hard as this may be for someone to hear, and I'm really sorry, okay, that it just might not happen the way you think it could. All these birdies coming in, that it might go another way. Okay, so that could be the burden that needs to be put down here, right? All right, folks, that is the reading we have for today. That's where we are in this relationship. Okay, stay focused on you. And we just still in the crock pot cooking for whoever we're reading for today, right? Yesterday, um, he made the decision that he's leaving something behind, and we see that here. We see it here again, right? But you can see that he's scared now. He's scared about his stability, and he may not be able to... His his fear of his fear around money right may be keeping him from moving away from something he may not see any other way in his life maybe he's had real money problems in his life and he's going maybe i don't have other things in my life but i have this um, safety and stability here now so this is where i'm staying for now until something else changes in my life so maybe this person is going to go through some enlightenment and then this will change it's just you can't take any steam or roll off of your life waiting for something to come being on someone else's timeline right you've got to be on your own timeline and if it's meant to be he'll catch up with you or you'll catch up with them however this is playing out for you wherever you are in this okay But, you know, the big takeaway here is for the, um, the Queen of Pentacles here, right? You're manifesting love and passion and creativity, success in a work situation, okay? So you're going to be okay. You've got the Ace of Pentacles here, too. You've got spiritual downloads coming in right okay so you don't know um this energy is moving fast right this could all change up this could be different tomorrow but just don't take any steam off of your direction okay stay focused on you All right, <laughs> that's our reading for today. Thank you for being here and thank you for supporting the channel. Oh, God bless you all. Send in love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.